Thy Baha, for Chach or Dash, which is the Heavenly Father name, whom the ignorantly and willingly called Jehovah and Jesus. And Baha or Chach or Dash is in the Holy Spirit, because through the Holy Spirit we are able to understand these prophecies and parables of the Holy Scriptures and have the spirit of understanding, the spirit of discernment. Double honest to our elders and apostles of a great millstone, whom the most I set up, the holy apostles, prophets, and men of God back to the inner reincarnation with the Holy Spirit. As the scripture says, they will be doing these last days. And shalom to all those that stand boldly for this truth to receive salvation for you and your household. Basically, I want to go into this topic correcting, you know, just a mass set and a few points out of this clip that the brother here shared with me of this woman rant based off her bad experience. Dealing with, you know, whatever type of men or whatever type of low low life men she was dealing with for her to have her experience, for her to go on the Internet and go viral, you know, and go on rant about what a man should do and how a man should be dealing with a woman like her caliber or any woman of her caliber. And we know in this society, women have much benefits and they get placed in uh, better positions than men, you know, and they're closely work with more and you know they get more benefits without having male presence around, you know, and that's a known fact that's proven fact through experience, that's proven fact through research, and that's proven fact through history. How the enemy work, how the devil operates to separate and break up the house and the structure of the Israelite uh, family that the Most High set up. But nevertheless, she's going on ranting about again her bad experience that she had, and that's what I'm gonna correct in this video man because again this mindset and her rent according to scriptures is off and she had no place to be uh usurping authority over a man and stating the things that she stated in this clip so i'm gonna play it lord will hold you let's be edifying and quick but don't come the fuck at all and i'll tell you something for the guy who charles with is clearly he from the neighborhood because he called me sooty this is a message for him yes i was married and i didn't have a failed marriage i actually had a successful marriage to me because i left it and once i left that how could a, a successful marriage that you're no longer a part of be successful if it was so good if you so good of a woman and the man that you decided to marry which means you was dealing with it, talking with him, open your legs up. So you decided to marry this man, so-called, for having much time. But now that you finally realize today you're going on a rant about how men not this and men not that and how they should provide and shovel your snow out and when you call them, they should pay you, give you money and this and that, spoil you. But this is the, this is the man you married. You didn't see all these things and characteristics in him, which proves the, 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 the hypocrisy. Uh, the nigga woman, man, you can see right through it. You know, just, she's not like that. <laughs> Marriage, I, I, back, I actually learned to love my fucking self, okay? And that was one of the best experiences in life that I could have ever had is being fucking married. And the reason why I'm a divorced woman is because my ex-husband did not know that his responsibility was to provide and protect and secure. Yeah, I mean, the scriptures tell us we're supposed to provide and protect for our household, man. We're supposed to provide and protect for our nation, for our family, you know, on physical and spiritual. But nevertheless, you have no you have no a position or authority to make the st statements, you know, that she's making in this clip. That's off. You had a husband, but now you don't. So they're down the line, someone right. And you claim he didn't know what it means to protect and provide, but yet you marry him. Yet you've been dealing with him and talking with him. Y'all ain't just meet and get married, because if that's the case... It makes it even worse. But the fact, you know, understanding through experience and discernment, you had to be talking and dealing with this man. Then y'all came to the conclusion to get married. Nah, it ain't work out because y'all was two corrupt individuals yourself. The way y'all think and the way y'all move. So that's the result she's going to have, man. And so she's breaking, she's trying to make a video and she's making no point, none whatsoever. That's why the brother posted the scripture. This Proverbs 9 and 13, a foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knows nothing. When you just listen to this clip, man, you see how she not even making no points. It's like her brain having misfires. She jumped from one subject to another about a bad day at work and then about going through a door blindfolded and trusting a man and how much, you know, just madness, man. You know, nobody want to listen to a woman speak of things that's not profitable, you know the woman and i was carrying more of the financial burden in the relationship and the marriage because of, oh i can do it on my own i don't need him mentality and i had to learn today a real man to know how i should be she just learned today after talking and dealing with her so-called ex-husband who she married you know she just learned today all the things she stated 
which means she not even living up to it. She just felt that way because she's hurt. She's a hurt individual, man. And this also Ecclesiastes 7 and 26. And I find more bitter than death, the woman, because the woman is bitter. When she mad, when she hurt, and when she felt like her emotions, her pride is destroyed, she's going to become bitter. She's going to do whatever, man. She's going to make a video, make a rant, expose you, ruin your life, and do however many uh, wicked little acts she have to do just to get back and hurt you. This is Isaiah 32 and 9. Many days and years shall you be troubled, you careless women. You know, the scriptures prophesy of a, a, a day of uh, unrest, a day of Jacob's trouble, and two-thirds, which outnumber men. You know, two-thirds outnumber the elect, but women outnumber men. Hey, a lot of women are going to be, like, getting judged in that day, man. And that's in the scriptures. Hey, this is Micah 7 and 10. Then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy God? My eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. So a lot of these women are going to be trodden down as the mire of the streets. Why? Because they're rebellious. They're two-thirds. It is First Timothy 2 and 12. But I suffer not a... It says, But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but be in silence. So man, he's just uh, strictly dealing with the truth and the law. But nevertheless, hey man, it just applies to women that they ain't even acknowledging the truth. You still is with like by blood. So there's a certain way you're supposed to conduct yourself. There's certain things you're supposed to say and certain things you shouldn't say. And doing making a video in a rant based off your experience with your ex-husband who didn't treat you right, who didn't protect and prevent you a right to put and categorize all men into that category, man. And we're not black, you know. But again, just correcting the mindset and this uh other 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 nigga woman, man. You know, and this ain't just about the nigga woman. This is for any women in general that think and move and behave like this and have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of man said, how about Shamal Shah? Because a real woman won't do that or go back and forth. But in this video, she's going back and forth. She's loud. She clamors. And she says she could argue to the death of her, which is backbiting, man. And that's rebellion. And rebellion is a sin of witchcraft, man. Pride go up before destruction. You know? It's, uh... 1 Corinthians 11 and 9. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. You know, and this is going to be real. This is going to make more sense at the six minute mark, which is I'm going to skip to 630. And I'm going to play it right here, man. And I'm going to read some more scriptures and I'm going to end it on that. Or sleeping with somebody. So weak men, listen to what you're saying to these comments. Stop the fuck alone. There's no reason. She popping her with the pretty woman. You want the woman who on her shit. It was all these men in my fucking inbox. A hundred of these. You to the motherfucking death of me, okay? I can go toe to toe because I'm educated too. Not to mention I do have two college degrees. Don't let me add that to you. So let's be clear. Yeah. So she feel because she got two college degrees and she's an Aquarius. She can argue with a man and go toe to toe and win a battle. And, um you know? And when the serpent see that, when the devil see that, guess what? Guess who's sad he's going to take? The woman. And they're going to go against the men. And that's how you get a broken uh, family. That's how you get a broken household, man. A, a reoccurring cycle due to the curses, man. Because the mindset of a, of, of a woman like this. And we call it a nigga woman. If the shoe fit, wear it, man. You know, just as we correct ourselves and get on ourselves and the men of our nation, man. We get on these heathens. We get on the women as well. Which I don't do too many videos on. I need to start. I do have a bunch of fucking bills and a lot of overhead a month because I am a business owner and I can take care of my bills all on my own. Don't get that shit twisted. But if I'm with a man, his job is to make sure that I don't have any motherfucking worries or that I worry less. Ain't no way in hell I'm supposed to be with a man. And I'm yeah, she's just prideful due to the position she have and the benefits she have, man. But when you don't have that, then what? Because you ain't submitting yourselves unto the righteousness of God. And then she goes to say how the woman is uh, the creator of all this and that and how men should cater to women. It's just madness, man. And that's why I read the Corinthians. It says, neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. So she, she goes saying that woman is, is, if women are essential, of course, they have a role, they have a place, and we're going to read that. You know? But coming in this vibration and this energy and this mindset is off man it's prideful and it's rebellion who cares you got two degrees a job and this and that you were just married now you're not which means you made a decision to marry the scumbag you married 
and trying to lump everybody into that category, that's not wise. That's not wisdom. Wisdom is to hold her tongue and move on her day-to-day -day life and pray to God, give her a man of the Lord. That's wisdom. Anything else is worthless. And this Proverbs 31 and verse 10. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. Rubies. The heart of her husband doth selfly trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil you. I guarantee you that marriage would never have ended. And even that marriage, that contract, which they went into, that's wickedness. And marriage is really sex. It's just how you consecrate marriage in the ancient world through our customs. You know, having the tokens of virginity, but which I probably, she probably wasn't a virgin, you know, nine times out of ten. And that probably wasn't the first guy she slept with. So she shouldn't even be in that prideful mindset that she's even in in the first place. You know, if it ain't her, her, her first husband. But I guarantee you, if she was righteous and virtuous, that would have never ended. It says she would do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. She's like merchant ships. She bringeth her food from afar. She rides also while she at night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. She considered they feel and buyeth it, and with the fruits of her hands she planted the vineyard. What woman you know in 2021, so called, is doing these things? Working with her hand, you know, like, of course you have women out here doing it, but the ones that's coming in her mindset. Is they doing it? Is it's cause she go and her statement, her claim is women of her caliber and her. You should treat them. And you, this the mindset you should have. You know, when you watch this video and you make the judgment, basically, this is how you should treat and submit to a woman of her caliber and women like her because they have degrees and they have businesses and they have requirements and needs. And if you're not fitting in that, you ain't shit and you a weak man. And that, I'm here to tell you, that claim is false, man. And that's what they rebuked here. The wickedness and the mindset of our women and the fact that they feel like they get, they, they prideful. If you ain't fit in this description and you ain't submit yourself to the righteous and striving, you're nothing, man. You know, it says, um, she girded her loins with strength and strengthened her arms. She perceived that her merchandise is good. Her candle go up not out by night, constantly working with her mouth shut and humbleness and meekness. So that's what a real woman is going to do. A real princess of Yahweh Basham Al Shah. You know, of course, she's not going to be with a weak man. If she happens to be with a weak man that don't believe and that don't give a fuck, hey, that's what it is. She's stuck with that man. And she can't just up and leave and say, oh, today I learned that I should love myself and be free. No, that's not allowed in the, uh, the heritage of the Israelite, man. But now things are out of order. The foundation of the earth are out of course, man. And uh, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. So it's not like that. So women have much liberty to be wicked and make decisions and open their mouth and say such things. But in the ancient world and even in the eastern world, women like this are put to death, beheaded publicly to put fear in other women, man, in order. It says she stretched out her hand to the poor. Yes, she reached forth her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household and for all her households are clothed with scarlet. She maketh herself covers of tape, uh, tap, tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gates, and he sitteth among the elders of the land. She maketh fine linen and selleth it, and delivereth girdles unto the merchant. Strength and honor in her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. She opened her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children arise and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praiseth her. Many daughters has done virtuously, but thou hast excellest them all. Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman that fear the Lord, she shall be praised. So a woman that fear the Lord shall be praised, and not that woman that was going in that rant, man, in that clip, you know. So I just wanted to make a little quick lesson, man, you know, and I'm going to end it with this, you know, this classic Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus 26, you know, and I'm going to jump right to the point. You know, but uh, this is about finding a, a good wife, a virtuous wife, you know, but it also goes into an evil wife. This uh, verse seven, an evil wife is a yoke shaken to and fro, which is why their marriage ended. I'm pretty sure he that holdeth of her is as though he held a scorpion and she probably was dealing with a scumbag low life herself, man. It says a drunken woman and a gather abroad cause a great anger and she will not cover her own shame. The whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty look and eyelids. And that's known amongst a lot of women, especially of her caliber, as she said, man, you know, and this goes into how to watch over your daughter so she won't be shameless and grow up to be like the women you just the woman you just saw in the clip, you know, and then it goes into the shamefacedness 
of a woman, man. You know? But I'm going to get this point. You know, because it jumps around. This verse 20, uh, four. This verse 23. A wicked woman is given unto the portion to a wicked man, but a godly woman is given to him that feared the Lord. A dishonest woman contemneth shame, but an honest woman will reverence her husband. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, but she that shame face will fear the Lord. And when you look up another translation, that dog is the word for B-I-T-C-H, man. You know? Rude speech, not a curse word. B-I-T-C-H. Rude speech, not a curse word. Said from the gut, the core. <laughs> but nevertheless, man, hey, that's what it is, man. A, a, a shameless woman shall be counted as nothing, as a dog. We don't care how many degrees you got, how much of you a business owner. Just because you hurt, you can't categorize all men into one lump. And you damn sure can't go off making the rents based off just your experience and your little experience and your little knowledge and think you go toe to toe and tip for tat with any man, whether he be poor or whether he be rich. You can't speak against that, man. You can't disrespect that, man. And if you do, you're going against God, who you claim you believe in. The scripture says, why call me Lord, but do not the things that I say. And the scripture says, the man is over the woman and the woman is made for the man. So, all those lessons out of fine, don't be like that. Don't think like that. Shalom.